Welcome back to Brilliant Fishing. Today we're doing something a little different with the channel. We're doing a more of a podcast style video today. And today we're going to talk about uh, a charter fishing trip that went uh, terribly wrong. And so uh, we're going to come back to that story in just a second. Uh, again, this is something new we're trying with the channel, just doing a little more of a podcast style video. Uh, we do want to uh, try and do more of these in the future. Uh, think just maybe even having some guests on, talk about North Carolina fishing, uh, information, news, telling some stories, uh, just having a good time, just learning more about fishing North Carolina waters. Now today though, our story uh, takes place not in North Carolina, but near Key West, Florida. If you've been online, you've been acquainted uh, at all with any of the fishing news uh, websites or Facebook pages or groups, uh, you've seen something about the two conks charter uh, trip incident that happened recently in Florida. There was a gentleman uh, from the UK, United Kingdom, uh, who traveled here with his two sons, uh, ages nine and 12. Um, and while they're here in Florida, uh, they went on a, this, a trip with the two Cox Charter Company, and they got out there, and uh, some things, uh, I guess maybe must have went all right for a little while, but then things kind of turned south on this charter trip. So watching the video, which you've probably seen floating around the, the internet, uh, I'm not going to reproduce it here, at least not the audio of it, because it is, uh, it is quite not family friendly, uh, some very explicit language and things uh, happening. Uh, but if you watch the video, if you've seen the video, you probably have opinions and comments about that. Uh, also went and I looked on the Two Conks Charter Fishing website or their Facebook page, and they did have a response to the video posted there. And so just kind of taking those two things together, uh, the, the gentleman that was on the trip made a post, uh, a lengthy uh, worded post as well with the video. And so what we're able to, to kind of take from all of that is that they got out on the water, they're fishing for mahi, uh, it's, so it's the dad, the two boys, this charter captain, uh, uh, first name is Chris, I believe. And so they get out there, they're catching some fish. There's some water on the deck of the boat. Uh, the dad, the, the Phil, he uh, slips apparently on the water that's on the deck of the boat, somehow loses his balance uh, and falls into the throttle control uh, for the, the boat. And so as he falls into the throttle control, you know, he's pushing it forward, makes the boat go forward, lurch forward, you know, quickly, um, unexpectedly. And at that moment, the charter captain, Captain Chris, uh, loses his balance. He slams into the back of the boat, goes over the back of the boat, lands on the dive platform right back there by the outboard motors. And so as he does that, he's able to to maintain a, a hold or grasp, I guess, on the back of the boat. He, he didn't fall off into the water uh, where the propellers were turning you know, by the outboard. So he's he very nearly, uh, just very narrowly escaped, um, you know, just falling off the back of the boat and uh, being severely injured. Uh, so it's obviously a very tense situation, a very unfortunate incident. Uh, they're very um, just fortunate that that did not turn into a, a more of a life-threatening situation. So again, all this happens. This is not on the video. This is just listening to the, the people tell about it later. And so uh, apparently the, the captain, he gets back into the, the on the deck of the boat and there begins to be this very tense exchange. Um, and at some point, <laughs> uh, the dad, he begins to record this on his phone and you get to hear a uh, part of it. But it's already in progress, of course, by the time the record button gets pressed. Uh, so if you've listened to it, my question for you is, uh, is the captain in the wrong here? Is the captain, is, uh, how he is reacting, uh, what's your take on that? I mean, is this captain, is he out of line? Um, obviously some of the things that he's saying are very uh, uh, inappropriate. They're de definitely not PG. Uh, they, they're uh, not family friendly at all. Um, and uh, very, uh, you know, again, very um, inappropriate in some ways. But given the situation, I mean, what's your take? Do you think it was, it was wrong for the captain to react in this way? Or is this just human nature? Is this just, you know, hey, I almost got hurt severely and, and uh, it's just kind of a, a fear reaction. Uh, so what's your take on it if you've seen it? If I know I've got some folks on here who do a lot of fishing, you take people out. Uh, some of you are charter captains. Some of you uh, uh, are, you know, you just, you just frequently have people on your boat. Uh, have you had a situation like this where you got out there and just something super crazy happened 
and uh, something tense, something uh, you know unexpected, something dangerous. Uh, and how did you handle that? And did you you know how did you react? And um, you know if you were this captain, uh, a good question would be to to share. You know how would you have reacted? Would you have done what this guy did, or would you have reacted a little differently? Um, certainly some of you guys who are charter captains, you take people out. Uh, I'm sure this is not the only person that something like this has ever happened to. Uh, so my question would be, you know, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you when you've been on the water and uh, how did you react? So brilliant fishing. Uh, again, we want to do uh, in the future uh, some more of these podcast style videos. We appreciate you uh, sticking with us today and uh, listening in. Uh, just come back again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, looking forward to producing more of these podcast style videos, uh, having on some guests and maybe talking to uh, some of you guys who are spending time on the water and uh, can tell stories and uh, share fishing news and information. So brilliant fishing out.